Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on greater celandine. So greater celandine or celdonium magus, more commonly known as greater celandine, is a herbaceous perennial plant belonging to the poppy family. Greater celandine contains some chemicals which have some medicinal benefit. The herb has a mild analgesic, antimicrobial and sedative effect. Greater celandine may have the potential to halt the spread of cancer and is used as an alternative cancer treatment in some parts of the world. Greater celandine contains many powerful antioxidants which help prevent cancer by reducing the amount of harmful free radicals in your body. As well as this, a study published in 2005 found that greater celandine displayed some cancer-fighting properties. However, although the review's authors found that the extract had beneficial effects on several types of cancer, they cautioned that most of the trials were of poor quality and state the independent, rigorous studies are urgently needed before greater celandine can be recommended in the treatment of cancer. Despite showing inconclusive evidence, in its efficiency in fighting cancer, greater celandine shows many other beneficial properties. The herb was found to have significant antimicrobial properties against harmful bacteria like streptococcus. Greater celandine also contains a distinctive latex that contains certain substances which through topical use can fight against warts and moles. Lastly, studies have shown that greater celandine can act as a painkiller when taken in quantity as 200 milligram per kilogram of body weight. While there is evidence of the herb possessing beneficial properties, little is known about the safety of long-term regular use of greater celandine and how it might interact with other medication. For this reason, it is important that if you're considering taking greater celandine, you do need to do some research and talk to your doctor before taking it. Because there is a limited amount of information on the safety of greater celandine use, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding and are considering using greater celandine, talk to your doctor about this before you do so. So some of the possible side effects of greater celandine include nausea, dizziness, fatigue and fever. So as well as this, there's a concern that greater celandine may harm liver health. In a report published in the Journal of um, Etopharmacology in 2009, scientists warned that several cases of acute hepatitis have been linked to greater celandine consumption in previously published studies. While the dose will vary depending on what the herb is being used for, the highest dose that should be taken is 2 grams daily. You shouldn't take more than this dose as doing so can trigger unpleasant side effects. If you decide to start taking greater celandine, it's important that you are aware of whether the product you have is the herb or herb extract. Extracts have a higher concentration of active ingredients compared to dried and crushed up herbs and will have a lower maximum dose. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.